Hi guys, Miss Jones here and welcome back to Art Time with Mrs. Jones. Today we're going to be doing an art activity based on one of my favorite artists, Keith Haring. I have a link in the description to this book being read aloud. It is a very cool book about the history of Keith Haring. It's called Keith Haring, The Boy Who Just Kept Drawing. And I would love it if after you are finished today doing the art activity with me, if you just click that link and it'll take you straight to this book being read aloud. It'll give you a little bit more background on the artists that we're doing today. So for the activity that we are going to do today, all that you're going to need is markers or crayons or a pencil or a pen and something to draw on. So let's get started. All right guys, we're gonna go ahead and get started. During this video, we're gonna do two different art pieces. So the first one we're gonna do is Radiant Baby and Barking Dog by Keith Haring. These look simple, but I'm gonna tell you right now that I have had to start over a couple of times because they weren't looking quite right. So if you are struggling, know that you are not alone. These look simple, but there is clearly an art form to this and you're going to be okay even if you have to start over. Hang in there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do the baby and then we're gonna do the dog on the bottom. So have your paper vertical and we're going to do at the top an almost complete circle so it doesn't quite connect. This is gonna be the baby's head. From here, we're gonna do the back and come down the back of the leg like so. So this is his back, his little bottom, and the back of his leg. We're gonna come back over to the head and we're gonna do the front arm. And it doesn't really look like an arm, it kind of looks like a shoe. So we're gonna come down, do the shoe part, and then come back up. Then we're gonna do the front of the leg down to the knee. So we're gonna come here, curve it over, and it should come down the same distance here. And then we're gonna do the same kind of foot here. So we're gonna come to here and bring it around. So it's a little crawling foot here. Then you're gonna draw a line connecting its belly. And then you'll do the front arm here, which is behind this one. So the back arm here. And then you're just gonna show that there's another foot back here by doing a little bumpy. And there is our baby. Now, to make it radiant, we need to do radiation lines. Radiant means to shine. So we're going to do shine lines all the way around it in a circle. And now we have a radiant baby. Now underneath, the radiant baby, there is a barking dog. So we're going to come down here and do the dog. So right underneath the head, we're gonna do the head of the dog. So I'm gonna do the top of the snout, two ears, and it should look like the letter M. Go down the back, do a little rectangle shape and then we're going to come down with the leg. We're going to make another rectangle shape here and another one. This is the, the rest of the snout and then we'll have four equal legs here. So wherever you come over we want to make sure these are equally spaced or close to equal. There we go. So 
So there is our radiant baby and our barking dog. Now make sure that you sign your name at the bottom. And I'm gonna write style Keith Herring so that we know that this is a Keith Herring replica. All right guys, the second artwork that we are going to be replicating today is going to include two people and a heart. So this is gonna be a little bit trickier than the baby and the dog, but I think you can handle it. So this is just called Heart by Keith Haring, and we're gonna start with the people and draw the heart last. So we're gonna go ahead and do two people side by side. We still have our paper vertical, and we're going to start by doing two heads. And I wanna do both heads so that we make sure that we keep in mind while we're drawing one, that there's another body that we have to put here. So we're gonna go ahead and do an incomplete circle here and an incomplete circle here. From there, we're gonna do these arms that go up in an angle and on the other side, then you will do that boot shape or the little hands and come down to where the torso would begin. Now with this guy, we're gonna come and do a C shape and it should come all the way down underneath the head, not way over here, underneath the head. So I'm gonna circle out and then stop underneath the head. On this side, I'm gonna come down to about where the belly button would be. So if you can think about the head, the arms, the booty, yes ma'am, that's the booty, we're gonna come down in the front to where about the belly button would be. So right about here. From here, we're gonna go out and down with a knee. Then you're going to come around with that little boot shape and do the rest of the back of the leg. Then you're going to elbow back toward this foot and go backward. Do the same thing here. This is the back of the knee and come down. And then you'll do the little boot there. And this is a little wide, but that's okay. Now we're gonna do the second guy. So this guy's a little different from him. The arms are still going out and up. We still have that little boot shape. They kind of remind me of music notes. And we're still gonna bring his back down and we're gonna stop close to this side of the head. So not directly underneath it, not quite as far over as we did here. So I'm gonna come out and stop kind of under this shoulder area. I'm still gonna come to about where the belly button would be. But instead of picking this leg up like him, we're just gonna come down. Both of his feet are gonna be on the ground. So we'll slightly elbow and come down. Do the second leg to match. And then pull this one down. So we have a straight line here with three diagonals. This leg would be in front, so I wanna do that foot first, and then the back foot. So I have my two little guys standing there with their arms up, 
and they are going to be holding the heart. So the heart is going to go behind their hands. So we're gonna start at the top and we'll go around and down and pick up and then come back down, stopping underneath the center. We'll come this way around and down, pick up and connect. Now, similar to the radiant baby, we are going to put shine lines around this heart. So it will just have these little lines radiating away from the heart. And these little guys need to look like they are moving. So we're gonna add some action lines. So this is how we show movement in art. So we're gonna put one little line there to kind of show that his booty's moving. We're gonna put some lines down here to show that his feet are moving. We'll put some in the middle and on this side to show that his upper body is moving side to side. And then we'll put some behind him as well to show that he is moving there too. Now in this particular art piece, the heart is red. So I'm gonna go ahead and color in the heart with a red marker. So this piece is almost finished. We are just missing our names at the bottom. I'm gonna do the same thing I did in that first piece. I'm gonna write Jones style of Keith Herring. And there we have both of our Keith Herring options today. Feel free to color those however you want or even add more action lines to those. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope that you enjoyed this lesson. Like I said before, it is one of my favorites. I think that they always turn out super cool and I'm sure yours turned out beautifully. I would love to see a picture of it, so please snap a picture and share it with me on Art Time with Mrs. Jones on Facebook. Also, if you watch the read aloud that I linked below, you can see all of the different styles and options that you have from Keith Haring. And you can do something just based off of one of the shots that you see in the read aloud. So you can pause it and try to replicate something that you see there. I would love to see one of those also. Until next time, guys, I love you, I miss you, and keep creating. Bye.